I'm Dory, and today I am doing another artist trading card for the ACEO April Art Challenge. And today I am in the mood to do some realistic watercolor painting. <laughs> and I'm also in the mood to talk about chickens. <laughs> so, yeah, um, okay, so basically I painted this chicken as a gift for my friend Miranda. She raises chickens. She loves them. They are her little babies, and she's got the coolest chickens, honestly. They've got great personalities. They're really sweet, and they cuddle with her, and <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's definitely a chicken lady. I'm, I'm hoping that she likes this little painting that I'm doing. It's, it's super tiny, but... Um, yeah, she, she, she loves art and she loves chicken, so I think it'll, it'll be a perfect gift, honestly. <laughs> um, but as I was painting this, I wasn't really so much thinking about her chickens as I was thinking about, um, my great-grandmother's chickens. And that's weird, right? But I was, I don't know, I was, as I was working on this picture of this rooster, I started thinking about the story that my great-grandmother had told me about uh, this rooster she knew when she was very young, much younger. And um, yeah, so my grandma, she lived through, or my great grandma, she lived through the uh, Great Depression. And the way that uh, she and my great grandfather survived was that they did farming. They lived on a farm. They had uh, cows and chickens and pigs and they, they planted crops and I mean that's how they lived they they provided food for almost everyone in in their area um, and they did a lot of good they did a lot of hard hard work but I mean they survived and I mean basically they thrived in the middle of the Great Depression so that's I mean honestly very impressive and it, it was cool and she and it ended up with her having a ton of really cool stories about the Great Dep Depression. So I used to really love going to visit her and listen to stories about the old times and all that. So, But one story in particular that she told me was about this rooster that they had on the farm and this rooster was kind of a jerk. <laughs> Uh, he basically, um, he used to take these spurs that were on the back of his feet, these really long toenail, like, that are basically like huge thorns, and he would dig them into her legs every single time he saw her. Like, it was, she would be going out to the barn to milk the cows, and he would run at her and just jam both of his spurs into her legs. And it was like torture. She she hated it. It hurt and she had all these sores and, and puncture wounds all over her legs from this rooster and it would drive her nuts. And, and she talked to her husband about it and, and they said, you know, he, he told her, well, he's the only rooster that we have and we need this rooster for the hens to lay eggs and to have babies. <laughs> we need the, this rooster to stay around. We can't get rid of him. So, um, how about we come up with a way for you to keep him from hurting you? So, the solution that they came up with was to take an axe, <laughs> which sounds horrible, right? But it was this very long-handled, broad-sided axe, and he said that if you hold it in front of your legs as you walk and swing it back and forth, that it'll keep the rooster away from your legs. And for a couple days, this actually worked. She would swing this axe back and forth in front of her legs and, and the rooster would, like, he, he seemed intimidated. He didn't want to attack her legs. But then on the third or fourth day of this, the rooster got brave and he charged at her. And he got right up on her and he stuck his legs out and he was going to jam those uh, spurs into the, her legs. And the axe came swinging down and the broad side of it knocked him right upside the head. It hit him hard enough to where he went flying through the air and landed with a thud on the ground. And he hit the ground and laid there motionless. And... <laughs> Now, of course, this 
made my great grandma completely freak out. She was, oh my God, what are we gonna do? We cannot afford to replace this rooster. My husband's gonna kill me. What are we gonna do? Uh, we don't have any chicks. We, we need this rooster right, you know, we need this rooster. There's no question, uh, what are we gonna do? And, and so she goes inside and she's worrying as she's doing her housework and, and all the things that she needs to do. She's worrying about what her husband's going to say when he comes back from the field and talks to her. And, and about halfway through her day, she looks out the window and the rooster is not laying where he was left. He is gone. So at this point, she's like, oh my God, did something eat him? What, what a, oh my gosh, some, you know, a pre... A, a wolf or something must have come by and and stolen the rooster's body and so she's really freaking out and scared and she tells her husband when he gets home and he's like oh man you know oh that sucks you know we're gonna have to find some way to trade milk for a rooster or something so they sit about it and talk about it all night long and the next day my great grandma got all of her you know, got dressed and she got her buckets and went to go milk the cows and that rooster came out. Apparently he had just been knocked unconscious and he was mad at my great grandma. So he came running out screaming and feathers flying and just full on rage, like chicken rage, like he was going to kill. And he went to throw those spurs into my grandma's legs and he got her pretty good. Yeah, he got her pretty good. He was chasing her the whole way back. She went, she didn't even get to milk the cows. She had to run back to the house. And the whole way to the house, he was just jamming those spurs into her legs. So he tore her legs up pretty good. And uh, the next day, the rooster got sold. <laughs> and they they ended up just buying a new rooster with the money. So it, uh, it's it's one of those stories that I don't know if, why it strikes me as funny, this rooster, the, uh, the thought of him getting knocked out and just being so angry, but yeah, that's what I was thinking about while I was painting this guy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you so, so much for watching this. I, I appreciate it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Bye.